kingdom of God is not in words, but in the demonstration of power, of power, in the demonstration of spirit. The letter killeth, but the spirit is life. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. Now, now, what's this? Since my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. And the same book of John says it this way. God says it this way. Those who are from the earth are earthly. But we who are from heaven are heavenly. Verse number 33. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven. And giveth life unto the world. I'm talking to somebody right now. Verse number 34. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. They didn't understand what he was saying. Verse number 35. Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. And he that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> Do you understand that Jesus said, I am the bread of life. But I'm okay if Jesus is the bread of life. The only problem now is when I read John 1 verse 1. He says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was nothing made that was made. In him was life, verse number 4. And the life is the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, verse number 5. And darkness comprehended it not. Catalambano did not. Verse number 6 says it this way. There was a man sent from God. Whose name was John? The same came for a witness, verse number 7. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That is the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He came into the world, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. Then the Bible says it this way. But as many as received him, Shalako Babo Satebe. But as many as received him, gave ye power, supernatural jurisdiction, exousia, to become the sons of God. Wait. Now, if we have become the sons of God, and then we go back to Genesis, find the revelation. Everything gives, after its, gives birth after its own kind. So if Jesus is the bread of life, and he has made us sons, so I am bread. You didn't hear what I'm just talking about. I'm talking like I'm the bread of life. I think this is for the, for the Manchester branch. Maybe for Mozambique they will understand it in Beira. 
maybe Gaberon or, or Francis Town. Uh, so, so, I am the bread of life. But for bread to be there, we ought to have something called flour. But for the flour to be there, I ought to have something else called the grain of wheat. But for the grain of wheat to be there and to produce wheat, uh, maybe this is not for you all. Because I need to understand how I become bread. Bread signifies that I become a supplier. Because bread does not eat anything. Bread satisfies, satisfies others. So how, be, how do I become a sponsor? No, no, no. Let's share grace and close. Maybe I will go home and just preach for that corner in there. It becomes grain. But then the Bible says it this way. For a grain of seed to give much fruit, it has to die first. Maybe you lost me. You lost me way in Houston. <laughs> it has to die first. What do I die for? Uh, are you not hearing what, what I'm saying? Now? That is why the Bible says we are crucified with Christ. I might like Jay-Z, but for me to be much fruit, I, I, I might like Beyonce, but for me to... I might like Chris Brown, but for me to... I gotta die to Chris Brown. I gotta die to Jay-Z. This ain't your preaching because you are, you are too holy for me today. I know you're not hearing me. Let me just... Let's, let's share grace. May the fellowship of the Holy Ghost. But then when I rise up, when it dies and it goes into the, into the ground, the seed, when it germinates, it starts to think that everything is now done. I'm now born again. Money should come to me now. No, 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 no. Because for it to become bread, it ought to become flour. But for it to become flour, there is a grinding process. You are not hearing what I'm saying. You are not hearing what I'm saying right now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This is when you get born again and you think that money is going to come tomorrow. But there is a problem. Shakwida, Shanene, and Ray Ray, they are on your back. They say whatever they want to say. They look with you like you are, you are borrowed something. This is not for all the people that are up there. I can see this is getting too deep for you. This is why many people get born again. And tomorrow they have changed. Because they were thinking tomorrow my fees is paid. My, my rent is paid because I received Christ. There is a grinding process, brother. I don't know if you're hearing what I'm saying. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Then the flower, because it carries residue from the seeds, it is poured into something called the sifter. The problem with the sifter, it has got holes. I feel like you're not hearing what I'm saying right now. You're, you're not hearing what I'm saying. Kabaka. The only problem with a sifter is painful while it's getting through. But remember you are going through. You're not hearing me. When you say I'm going through something, that's not the problem. There is no problem. Because if I'm going through, that means I'm coming through. If you tell me you are going through a problem, 
It's a big sign. You are not staying in a problem you are going through. I feel you're, you're not hearing what I'm saying. Am I talking to some few people here? No, 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 no. You know, God understands. If I don't put you through a sifter, all the guys that used to date you when you were... They will keep calling when you are now married. I feel like you're not hearing what I'm saying. This is not your preaching. You are used to me shouting and... You are now married, but your ex-boyfriend keeps calling. You are now married and the, the sister that used to take you to clubs and to the pub is still calling. So God says now, I need to put you through a sifting process. I feel you're not hearing me. No, no, no. You need to understand something. You need to understand something. The flour that will be used for, to make bread is not the flour that is left in the sifter. It's the flour that is... I feel like maybe this is not for you. This is not for you. Now, what's this? The residue from the seeds that was crushed is left in the sifter. But notice the sifter is high up there. And the flower, you, you are down there. So for the flower, it looks up to the sifter. And says, there is Shaquita, she just got married. There is Tom, he just got a new car. You, you're not hearing what I'm saying at all. You are in a process where God is showing you that everyone you are seeing up there is a false start. Anyone who got married before you, that's a false start. Anyone who got money before you, that's a false start. Anyone who got a house before you, You're not hearing what I'm saying. Today I'm going to show you and at the end of the service. You are going to be prayed. I feel like this is not getting through to you. No, 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 no. So, when flour is going through a sifter, remember this is made of wire. Thin and sharp. There is pain. Uh -uh. But I still need him. I still need him as my friend. This cannot be my ex-boyfriend. I know he doesn't pray to God, but uh, I still love him. But God is saying, leave the bozo alone. I think this is too much for Spirit Embassy. Maybe for Miracle TV, this can get it. Now, you need to understand, for those who have been baking for a long time, you need to understand that there, is, there are sometimes some lumps of flour. They are not stones. They are just flour. But they can remain in there. They can go through. But the baker needs to crush a little bit. Some people are very hard to go with where we are going. If you take them, this is unnecessary baggage. I have got good news for you. I've got good news for you. Those who leave you are seldom tied to your destiny. You are not hearing what I'm saying. 
if your husband left you he was not meant to be in your destiny if your boyfriend damned you he was not meant to be in your destiny you are not hearing what I'm saying at all. You are not hearing me. If you hear me, shout yay! No, 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 no. Now the flower thinks I'm now fine flower. So this is the end of it. I'm fine. <laughs> But then the baker understands. I ought to add sugar. I'm adding sugar. I also add milk. That's why the Bible says, we gotta be fed by the milk of the word. Then from the milk, we gotta go to the... But this process now, the flower does not understand why there is this addition. And the beggar begins to stare. This is a very painful process. You are mixed up with people you don't really know. You came to church and you thought everyone was Christian. But then you find some are sugar, some are salt, some are eggs. Are not really Christians like you are, but they are in the service just the same. So when they mess you up, you come to church and your husband is sitting there, and Sister Shanene begins to look at your husband like let's meet after church. That's when you begin to understand. Uh, I am bread, I'm in the mixing process. So in the mixing process, the baker has to mix me up with some folk that don't understand anything about the Holy Ghost. They come to church with me, but they don't understand anything about the Bible. They come to church with me, but if I leave my wallet on a chair in order to give an honorarium, they steal the person. I'm here to announce to you. They are not. Uh, listen to me. They are not Kabaleka Paul. They are not part and parcel of flour. But they've been mixed up with me. They can sit down with you. When you begin to speak in tongues, they speak their own tongues. They are tongue talking, scripture cutting. But they are not part of the fold. Don't worry, that's why Paul said, Beware of dogs. Do you know what? Paul says, What? Beware of dogs. In other words, the dogs are in the church. Because if the Bible says, beware of dogs, I feel like this, you're not getting me, you're not getting me, you're not getting me. If the Bible is saying, beware of dogs, the sign post for the dogs is on the door and the gate. Telling the people outside that inside that's where dogs are. So what Paul says when he says beware of dogs, a sign that is written beware of dogs is not written for the people that are inside the house. It's written for those that are outside the house. So Paul is saying in church, that's where we find prostitutes. In church, that's where we find thieves. Beware of dogs, they are inside the church. Uh, uh, can somebody shout, Priest, Prophet, preach? 
I'm doing the best Jesus told me to. Hmm. So you gotta be thinking, why is it that the pastor is talking to someone I know is a sinner? Because it's church. Why is Sister Shanene looking at this one, my husband, like she wants to get married right now? It's because it's church. It's filled up with dogs. You are not with me. You are not with me. I, I got to pack and go home. I've got a wife and three kids. I need to go home now. Am I, am I talking to somebody? After the mixing process, there is something called dog. This thing doesn't look right. If you look at it, it looks useless. Put sugar, it becomes a cake. <laughs> I feel you're not hearing me. But what happens with the door is this. A good baker begins to stretch the door. This is a painful process. I feel like you're not hearing what I'm talking about. You know you are a Christian. You look for a job, you can't find it. You are in a stretching process. You pray for your husband, you can't find a husband. You are in a painful process. But then, the baker understands. After the stretching, there is a process called kneading. This is done by a fist. It's a painful process. When everything you want to do is there seems to be a blockage. No matter how you preach in tongues and speak in tongues and win souls, you are still left somehow. Uh, I feel in that corner they just lost the whole message. Now, after this whole painful process, the door begins to think that it's, it's now ready. Until the baker. Am I talking to somebody right now? Have you ever been in a position? Have you ever been in a position where you think my miracle is now? I have suffered too long. But before you break through, you realize. I'm preaching to myself today. Don't worry, darling. Don't worry, love. All it is, is the baker understands. He needs to flatten you out. Only intercessors will understand this message. Uh, because... Because until you lie prostrate or on your back in prayer, there is no miracle that is about. Even if we beg you, you will become bad bread. So God begins to flatten you. Until all that is left. And when people look at you, they say, what good can come out of it? Bethlehem of Judea. Uh, I know you're not hearing what I'm saying. <laughs> Even for those who don't know and for those who know theology, the word Bethlehem means something like this. House of bread. Then Jesus comes out of Bethlehem and says, I'm the bread of life. Turn to someone next to you and say, I'm the bread of life. Mm. 
I don't know if you understand this. But then before the baker puts you in a tray, before he puts you in a baking tray, he understands there is something called yeast. He needs to put yeast. Yeast signifies you are about to go through fire. But it also signifies, because the Bible says it this, says yeast, though it's a small thing, it livens up the door. And Jesus said, beware of the yeast of the Pharisees. You're not getting me, you're not getting me. If we put you in a baking tray with no yeast, the bread will not rise. So we got to put you into persecution. Somebody got to say something about you. Uh, maybe you're not hearing what I'm saying. Somebody got to say something against you. Someone has to say you. You took something, something, somewhere. Somebody got to say that your husband is not. And if you're major like me, they got to say I'm using some. I feel I don't have matches here. Shout yay! Shout I am bread! So it begins to line you up. Puts you in a tray. But the problem with a tray is you need to really sit in you can leave some gaps. <laughs> uh, you're not hearing what I'm saying. That's why Paul said when you are in Rome, do what the Romans do while it's under the weight. You didn't hear what I'm saying. When you come to a spirit embassy with some folk that don't know God, but they act like they know God. With some folk that say we know what we do, but they don't know nothing. With some folk that say we can pray for hours, yet two minutes they are tired. When you get in a place like that, sit in. You didn't hear me, you didn't hear me, you didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. After the fitting in, he puts you in something called the oven. The problem with the oven is he keeps on, the baker keeps on checking. Are you ready? If you are not ready, you are not hearing what I'm saying. So when you are going through fire, you got to make ready. You, 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 you got to be sure that when the baker goes to look at me, I'm turning brown. And I'm... You are not hearing what I'm saying at all. <laughs> because there are some people when they go under fire, they begin to crumble. They explode and blame everyone else. Or implode and blame themselves. The oven period is a period for introspection. Am I good enough? On your own. This is what Christians cannot do. They are good at pointing fingers. But a baker understands that if you are not really turning into the right color, what he understands is You got to turn up the heat. You are not hearing what I'm saying at all. You are not hearing what I'm saying even in a... Are you hearing me there? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Uh... I don't know if you're used to this kind of preaching, but I, I don't really care what you're used to. All I do is, if as long as I'm able to deliver a message to you like God sent me. 
The only problem is if the man is a good backer or the woman is a good backer, hmm, increases the fire. But Hebrew says, listen, the Bible says it this way. God will not tempt you above that which you can not overcome. So the baker increases the temperature in the oven. But to a certain degree, he understands you will not burn. I don't know what you are going through. You might just have received divorce papers. But I serve a God, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah El Shaddai, Jehovah El Kano, Jehovah Sidu Kenu, Jehovah Gomola, Jehovah El Geboa, Jehovah Erek Apayim Abari to Chimemich Kopo Kopo. A God who will not turn up the heat above what you can contain. Maybe I'm talking to a few people here. I came here with a mountain to tell you from right here, from right now, whether you are in watching me from Miracle TV, everyone in the TV land and in this auditorium and wherever you are, understand your problem will not overcome you. Whether it's lack of money, cancel. Divorce, cancel. Unemployment. Shout ye! Shout, I'm the bread. I'm the bread. Nah, nah, nah. Some bakers, when it's door, they take the door and put them in the refrigerator. Put it in the refrigerator. This is a cold place. You are wondering what is happening to you. You are wondering what is taking place. This place feels cold. The job I'm in, it's not the best job. The more you pray, the more harder the boss becomes. The day you think you can speak in tongues all the way to work, that's the day the boss tells you you are fired. You are in a cold place just before the bread is put in the oven. Maybe somebody doesn't understand the journey I'm taking you through. I don't know. I, I, maybe we can close now. <laughs> Do I have people here? <laughs> so, so, the stove is in the kitchen. And the baker is working in the kitchen. But then he understands. Now I have turned up the I've turned up the, the heat. You he will leave the room. You're not hearing me. You, you are not hearing me. This is why Jesus said one thing. They they came to him asking about the end of times. He said to you, you are even able. To calculate, you are even able to calculate when rain is going to come. In the rural areas, you know you can sense the rain. You you can even smell that it's coming. Somebody has already gotten the message. So a good baker understands. I don't need to be in the room for me to know the bread is ready. I can be in the dining room as long as I can sense the smell of the bread. I know you are ready. You are not hearing what I'm...
You are not hearing what I'm talking about. I know you are ready. I, I, can I preach it like I'm feeling it? I'm doing the best that I can. But when it comes out of the oven, it's a little bit hot. So everyone who sees you out of the oven avoids you. Because there are some folk who, who came out of fire and now they have a testimony. Now they want to run to Sister So and So, but Sister So and So doesn't want to hear the testimony of her. You are going through a financial situation, but then you believe after I come out of this situation, so and so are going to say, Congratulations. Oh, I'm sorry, I've got bad news for you. You are too hot, baby, to be handled. Do I have people here who can shout, yeah? <laughs> Say to your neighbor, I am bread. Say, I'm bread. Uh, Say, I have got a supply. Consciousness. I'm supply conscious. Now, then the bread begins to see a knife. Because your miracle is not for you. Because bread does not eat bread. Bread is for the people. So the baker, this is a painful process. As the bread is being cut. This is not. Let, let's finish next week. <laughs> you think, nah, nah. Now you, you got everybody around surrounding you now. Even the ones with money want to eat from you. I feel like you're not hearing me. <laughs> the ones that don't know you, they never did anything in your life. Now they are coming to your office. Can I get a piece of you? Uh, <laughs> so everyone is taking a piece of you. It's not the best. Because you were thinking out of the oven. Now into someone's mouth. But you will understand, brother. What do you have? You are not hearing what I'm saying. But for bread to be soothing, there ought to be something called margarine. Or butter. But butter is made up of oil. And oil signifies the Holy Ghost. Shout like you are being anointed today.
There is a reason why I said today is anointing service. There is a reason why we are anointing you today. Because <laughs> you already prayed. You came out of the seed process. You came out of the grinding process. You have been flattened. Impurities have been removed from you. You were put in the oven. Heat on you. Yeast was on you. So you could rise. Now you have risen. Uh, we cut you into pieces. Uh, then we anoint you with margarine and butter. Why? Shaquita Shanene, your neighbor, has to see a marriage gown from your neighbor. People gotta see a mansion from your house. They gotta learn what a Mercedes Benz looks like from your street. Everyone in your street got to know what pregnancy looks like from your house. If your own neighbor who does not know what a Lamborghini Kundashi is, they shall see it from your house. If they don't know what a Lamborghini Michel Lago is, you will be parking it outside of the house. <laughs> you are not hearing what I'm saying. Turn to someone next to say, I am bread. All of them, they feed on me. <laughs> One thing about bread is it does not eat. It is the food. It's always satisfied. You shall not lack. I said you shall not lack. You shall not lack. Even if we are finished with the bread and we throw it away, even in the bin, there are some creatures in the ecosystem that will feed on it. You are never going to be wasted. Everywhere you go, you are the solver of the problems. You are the case breaker. I speak longevity right now. I speak it, I speak it, I speak it. Maso pradia to kolomande. Mesa brena la giza. Jamon brenene. Ragadu Satembre in the Agia Pa Shout Yay Spirit is life. Your friend Barbara, marriage problems. Yes, man of God, you're <laughs> Because it's like you when you were in Zambia. Even today, this morning, you said, I will not come back to Zambia if it knows if it doesn't. Oh, no, yes, me. man of God, you're right. Very true. Prophesy, man of God, prophesy. This is what you say. This is in the morning. She said, I will not go back to Zambia. If he does not speak to me, I'm not going back. You are very right, man of God. <laughs> you see, you. I'm seeing the Lord. You just shut up, I will say everything. Thank you. Sister, Thank you. sister, this man has caused you tears. He is the real candidate. Oh, they didn't hear me. I didn't say you are married. She's not married to this one. Huh? They're not married yet. But it's like you want it to be, you want the question to be popped. So let's do it now. Thank you, Jesus. But it's taking longer. Thank you, Jesus. It used to, because now you're here, isn't it? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Exactly. And I didn't say it. This is what I see, what God is going to do. 
Because this one, this one, fairly young man. But you see, when I say very young, I'm not talking about very young. I'm talking about because you are coming with your children into this thing. You're right, man of God. Two children. Yes, man of God. Listen. Because if you are going to listen to what I say, this man here will give you a girl because you have always wanted a girl. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I praise your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. You're the sign, man of God. Oh, Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, Pastor. I know. The two, the two, the two boys. What are they? The, the two boys are yeah, he's a child, but she's saying I want to give him a baby <laughs> but girl. What did I say? <laughs> uh, now, this is what is going to go, to go down so that this one will understand who you are from here. Let me tell you the roadmap. The roadmap is God has already prepared for you to have like a shop. Wait. If you are, I prophesied to one Zambian before. If you go to Zambia and you're walking towards town in that road there, going town, you look this side behind buildings, you have things to do with markets and some small shops that are eating houses and stuff like that. This is Lusaka. But I'm seeing here, she'll get grace in Bala. And this one, listen to me now. There is this grace because I'm seeing people who do mining. And people who are doing cement mm, thank you, Jesus. going to your shop in Kitwe. Thank you, Lord. In fact, man of God, man of God, I just want to confirm on this. I'm working for a certain company that I'm not even being happy. And my reason I just said this time, as I'm coming back from Zimbabwe, I just have to stop working. God has to provide a way, and I have to start working on my own. Thank you. Because I saw a shop in a place like K I T W E. Kitwe. Kitwe. Do you know Kitwe? That's where we are coming from. That's where you are coming from. Come on, Salem, I'm praying on Salem. I'm fatuni no pray ganosa. Three bedrooms, three bedrooms, three kilo months. So the house that I live in, mm. it's a three bedroom house here. what I'm doing. And I just want to talk to you too. The Spirit of the Lord ministered to me. It's like God wants to elevate you to higher levels. And where you have been, it's not you thought that you had reached your peak, but it's not your peak. God wants to take you much higher than you've ever been. If, if you're ready to receive it, you receive it. If you're not, it's another issue. Because what, the only problem you've had is your relationship with God. Strive to have a serious relationship with God. That's been your only problem. Because I was seeing you connected to government. Amen. Government, working in the government. What, who has been working in the government? It's me, I was a counselor. You were a counselor? <laughs> Do you understand what's happening to you right now? No, I mean this, this moment here, this prophetic word. Do you understand what's actually happening? Yes, I do. You fully understand? Yes. 
So act like you understand and receive your blessing. Because once you miss this, you miss everything. Because now, God has given you grace for business. He has given you grace for business. And that's why I was seeing you working like a uh, hard way. Parts. This, things like that, like parts and hardware. Yes, Is this true? It's true, madam. What, what did you have? What's, what was the business? I was saving a general dealer where I was selling everything, clothing, parts, and dishes. Just general merchandise. God has given you grace and favor for business. And it's like now, when you were a counselor, since then, you've tried to do, move on from that. You've tried to do business, but somehow you always hit a barrier and you never move on top of that barrier. This is your life. Is this true? Yeah, that's my life. That's true, madam. But it will change today because we serve a mighty, mighty God. And where are your children? How many or how many do you have? I have three. My firstborn is here with the wife. Your firstborn is here with the wife? Oh, this is your, your, your boy? Because pray for your children. Because I was seeing an accident. I was seeing an accident. Yes, madam. But it was going to happen with one of your children. And I was seeing something like a small car. Like a black vehicle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My daughter is driving a black vehicle. She, your daughter? Oh, come on, somebody. But now, as much as it is your daughter, I wasn't seeing the girl being involved in the accident. It was actually a boy. It's true, ma'am. The boy had an accident last year, October. Four times, First your son. Yeah. yeah, about three times. Three, three times he's had an accident. My God. Do you guys really see what's happening here? The girl is the one who drives this car. But I wasn't seeing the girl being involved in the accident. It was the boy. Yes. And already he's had three accidents. The latest one, you said when? Last year. Last year. Last year. Yes. Hey. I see this boy driving this car. Does he normally get it from his sister or what? I see him driving. He used to drive it. He used to drive it. It used to be his. Oh, it was his car before? Yes. So it, he's the actual owner of the car and he gave it to his sister? Yes, ma'am. Hey, this it. God. No, we'll pray and we'll break that today. We'll break it today. Because we serve a mighty God. We serve a mighty God.